Does your next experiment involve FLT1? This video is for scientists who want to run Western blot, IHC, flow or other immunoassays against FLT1. We will cover some basic facts, protein expression, and FLT1's expected behavior in Western blot. All information in this video is based on public information and no proprietary experimental evidence was used. Topic 1. Quick facts about FLT1. FM's related receptor tyrosine kinase 1, or FLT1, is a cell surface receptor for VEGFA, VEGFB, and PGF. As such, it is highly involved in a number of processes such as angiogenesis, cell survival, cell migration, and many other crucial roles. FLT1 is 1,338 amino acids long with a molecular weight of about 151 kilodaltons. Topic 2. Where is FLT1? FLT1 is expressed highly in the lungs. FLT1 is also expressed in the placenta, testes, smooth muscle, skin, and colon. You can find more information on proteinatlas.org to check out which cell lines express FLT1 and which ones don't. This information will come in handy when designing positive and negative controls for Western blot and immunohistochemistry. Topic 3. FLT1 in Western blotting. Antibody specificity can make or break an experiment. After looking through Western blot images from publications and antibody companies, we can see that typically one band can be expected in a FLT1 Western blot at about 170 kilodaltons. Check out the PMC link for more images, which is also provided in the description box. Topic 4. Some interesting facts about FLT1. FLT1, or VEGFR1, was first noted to be a receptor for VEGFA in 1992. Since then, research has implicated high expression of the soluble splice variant of FLT1 in the condition preeclampsia. Thank you for watching, and check out the links and references in the description box below. Let us know in the comments which biomarker you would like us to discuss next. Subscribe to stay tuned for more biomarker videos.